Hello, YouTubers and modeling community. Focus Arts back in with another video on the 1/8 scale 69 Nova. I'm just uh, doing some uh, installment of uh, parts and making scratch building more parts. I uh, installed a rack and pinion and getting the front end to. Uh, Turn left and right. Next, I'll be doing the uh, the stern linkage to the firewall, and I got to drop the engine in and build the uh, steering shaft from the firewall to the rack and pinion to make sure it's going to clear the headers and uh, install the uh, fuel cell battery. Working on the the rear trunk lid hinges, getting those to work. I'm going to try to. Do a cross brace so they both operate at the same time. Uh, got the radio on in the background. Listen to you up on the roof. It's one of my dad's old favorite songs. I took some uh, styrene square stock, cut it in half, and I scratch built some door handles for the Nova along with the along with the push uh, release push release yeah and uh, cutting out some windows this is a third one this is the third one that I cut Bought some uh, clear plastic from uh, Hobby Lobby and it's a little thick. And I traced it out with the Sharpie because it had the protector uh, plastic on it. And uh, start cutting with the sharp scissors and it shattered. I'm like, what in the heck? So I tried cutting with the uh, utility knife and talk about dulling out a blade. That was no good. So I had to go out and buy a plexiglass cutter and use that edge to score all the way around. Then I could finally get, you know, a good cut where I can break everything loose. And so that's the third window. As I was using my X Acto hobby knife, I was cutting the bottom edge, everything came out perfect. I was cutting the bottom edge. And I'm going along, scoring the line, and, and I'm like, son of a... You know what comes after that. You thought I was going to say, son of a... Bit, bit, bit. <laughs> so, uh... After buying the uh, plexiglass cutter, I got it. Got it taken care of. So I'll be doing the side windows, the two wing windows, and the front windshield. I got enough uh, clear plastic to to do that. And I got a half a sheet over here to my my left side. Working on a center council. Uh, scratch building the master cylinder and booster assembly. Adding some fluid lines. Of course, all that's going to get put in the firewall and. Not bad for a couple hours of the work. Don't have to be perfect. If it looks good to me, it's good enough to go in the car. That door handles took me about 30 minutes a piece. And, uh, what else? So between, uh, doing some paint work on the ProMod 55 Ford, panel, the Chevy 55 panel and the 55 Ford Custom, I had to get into another Custom. This is a Dodge, Chevy and Ford with a chop top. Part Bronco, part Blazer, and part uh, 
I don't know, whatever Dodge truck, you know, I took the wheel wells from. The front fenders have a cut right to it. I'm not sure what to do on the grill. Maybe a 71 Ford pickup grill with a Chevy hood, Ford windshield, a Chevy top, Chrysler tailgate. Chevy uh, tail lights. So I'm combining all three into one. Kind of looks like a Chevy Blazer. But things just don't look right. But then it looks kind of cool. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, building large scale models back in the 80s was a pain in the ass because there was no aftermarket parts available. So, going to Toys R Us for the kids, my son, you know, and nephews and nieces, and getting silly putty, I'm like, huh, I can make just about anything, I can't with silly putty, and I don't know if anybody remembers them, um, toy products that you can draw out, put in the oven, and they shrink, called Shrinky Dink. Well, that kind of gave me the idea with silly putty and making parts. And uh, so I started messing around with the automotive Bondo, and so I don't know what to use for making parts, casting parts. I think resin bodies were made out of fiberglass resin jelly back then. I had bought one from Tomcat Hobbies. That kind of gave me the idea. And it was a solid, not thick, not too thin, but it was a fiberglass uh, short strand from a hobby shop called Tomcat Hobbies. And back then it was like eight bucks for a body. So after purchasing that and doing the Miller High Life, uh, uh, what car was that? Forenza or something like that. They got me to thinking, so I can take some automotive Bondo and start carving out my parts. This is the first intake I did for a small block Chevy. It's not the best work in the world, but back then there was no intake manifolds, there was no blowers, there was no in my boxes in the storage shit out back. I have a supercharger that fits this. And, uh, you heard, the, you heard the sound of that, right? I saw it automotive bondo, and so is this valve cover. I copied the, uh, mean and nasty, uh, Pro Street, uh, valve cover, upscaled it to 1 8 scale. That's a solid chunk of, uh, bondo right there. And I would just take all the silly putty and wrap it around there and, and uh, I'm like, okay, so now I got like a little mole. What can I use to copy it? So I went to my dad's house because my dad uh, scratch, scratch built uh, his RC airplanes. And he used a lot of fiberglass for nose cones and, you know, other parts for his uh, RC airplanes. And uh, he mixed me up a batch of uh, fiberglass resin after making a carburetor mold. And there's my first ever resin part. Yeah, it's fiberglass, uh, fiberglass resin. I copied the tea bucket carburetor to make another one for the Pro Stock after buying another 1.8 scale model. And that's what I had to... Uh, That's what I had to do back in the 1980s because there was nothing available for large scale models. So that's what I that's what I did and make an ease out of fiberglass resin. Just pouring the resin into the silly putty, letting it dry and scraping all the silly putty off after it heated up. And uh, making my own parts back then. Back in 1987, man, that's 
a long time right there. A lot of stuck to my guns and pushed and listened to my calling of aftermarket parts for large scale stuff that could have been on a market way back then. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of the uh, three and one. I don't know what to call it. Ship for Christ. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I got going this Saturday evening. Well, y'all have a good one. Y'all be safe out there. Happy Halloween, and uh, see you on the next uh, update.